2019, we actually decided to make a completely new design for foiling. We wanted to go something that was foil specific, so we made something a little bit shorter. This one is 6.8 by 26, but it's still 95 litres, and I'm really happy with the way it came out. As you can see, we've kind of got a few different design elements. You've got this arch bar, which goes the whole way down the center, and I think it's, it's nice because it helps you feel where you are on the board. You kind of know if you're in the center. You can also see we've got the foot strap inserts. Personally, I don't like riding it with foot straps, but I know a lot of people like that for learning. Sometimes it's a little bit easier because you can keep your feet in the right spot, and I think it's all a personal preference thing. We offer the foil boards in both constructions, the pro construction as well as the wood construction with the basalt rails. As you can see, we've got a pretty flat deck, which really helps with stability. And then what we've done is we've included the, the beveled rails, which really helps a lot with when you're turning, you're getting the board super low to the water. It's just a little bit less area for it to catch. The other thing that it really helps with is when you go too high on the foil and you're coming down, every time you hit the water, having that plus the, the nose being pretty rocket out, it just means that you can catch, hit the water and come back up on the foil without getting thrown over the front. Having that rocker in the nose and then keeping a, a nice flat area through here is, is really helpful because you get the board on the right angle. It's gonna be parallel with the foil and it just makes riding a lot easier with it on that angle. We've also got the US boxes in here, which I think is great. It gives you a little bit more adjustment. Some people have different preferences and it just gives you a little bit more room to, to play with the placement of your foil. We've also included a, a nice forward pad placement. This just helps a lot with knowing where the end point of the board is. It means that when you're trying to find the right position, you're not going to be looking down. You can kind of just feel for that position, which really helps. The angled tail, which helps a lot just with pumping. It means that when you get a nice big deep pump, there's just a little bit less surface area to hit. And then you can see here, we've also got the release edge, which just stops the water from kind of slowing you down as much. Thank you.